Hey guys, welcome back. This is a little video of our time in Koh Samui. Long day, second ferry. We're on two hour ferry, three hour bus journey, another two hour ferry, and then an hour taxi. All for Koh Samui. Yeah, well, yeah, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. After a long day traveling, we got a quick grab and headed towards our hotel. So we're in Koh Samui. It's really hot. Little slidey door. How random is this? Toilet, bath, our first bath, and a little outside balcony area. With our it's safe to say we was all in need of an extremely early night. The next morning we woke up, grabbed a coffee from the vending machine and headed out to the streets of Koh Samui. We come across this really cool boxing arena, well should I say Mai Tai Gym and it's crazy how it's all outside and they just leave all the belongings. This just goes to prove how safe this island really is. Frankie and Ronnie, I know you'll be watching this, so this little clip it is for you. Little Astro Turf pitch literally on the side of the main road. Really appreciate. A quick stop at 7 Eleven, it's always handy because they have hot water, so I always fill up the girls' bottles here. It just saves us doing it when we get back to the hotel. So tonight we have garlic pepper chicken and what's that? Fried duck and black pepper. Yeah. After a chilled morning and an afternoon roaming the streets, once we had dinner, we headed for Koh Samui's main city centre shopping mall. So even though this is an island, it very much feels like a city within an island. It is definitely one of my favourite places to visit. And if you are coming to Thailand, I highly recommend you put this within your itinerary. Even though we woke up to a rainstorm, the rain quickly stopped and we headed to a little viewing point for some lunch. Everything at this viewing point was balanced on rocks and all handmade. It's honestly incredible how they make stuff from natural resources and it just goes to prove that you literally can make anything from recycled goods. Once the girls had had a feed, we gave them a quick photo shoot at our viewing point and enjoyed some well needed grub. We decided that we were going to have a little drive around just so we could see more of the island and again we come across an amazing viewpoint we literally just brought up on maps and click viewpoint and we come across this beauty wow honestly i just can't get over this island
we could even see the planes taking off. As you can clearly see, it was a very Instagrammable place. So after leaving the viewpoint, we came across this tucked away little bar. Had a cool vibe, so we had a drink, and then we headed back to get ready to head out for the night. It's safe to say, this was one of the best places that we had food. Ham and cheese spring rolls, and the main was unbelievable. You get too much hair in your eye. <laughs> Got to give you know, you'll get an haircut. That was the funniest. Once Daniel had faffed around shaving his kneecaps, we headed to a pool party. We actually came here the day before just to check that the girls were able to come, and it was so amazing because there were so many kids there also. And well, the rest of the video tells the story for us. Umbrella because the sun is beaming right on my shoulder and legs. These two gorgeous girls were obsessed with our two gorgeous girls and they literally looked after the girls the whole time we were there. After an amazing day, we stayed there into the evening and the party continued. It was one of the best days we had. The next morning we headed straight to the post office. I had these postcards since we were on PP Island and I really needed to get them posted so they got home before we returned home.
Okay. Thank you. After getting the postcards, we kept seeing this sign for the waterfall, so we followed the signs. Unfortunately, we didn't find the waterfall, we might not have gone far enough up the road, but what we did find was an amazing view. As we were walking through the jungle, we came across these bridges. After crossing, we found this amazing treehouse calf. You sit there and then all of a sudden you see people zip lining through the jungle from tree to tree. Quite a hidden gem. Everywhere we go, you can tell how popular the girls are. So once we left the Tree Bridge Zipline Cafe, we headed to meet our friends that we met at the pool party at another little hidden gem owned by a lady who was German. She actually has had this place for eight years and lived on Koh Samui for nearly 30. And the feud was honestly insane. Everyone was telling us to try one particular meal and unfortunately we can't remember the name of it but we ordered it anyway and it was a creamy sort of soup with noodles and crisps. This little gem was right on the beachfront and yeah it was just amazing. Once we said our goodbyes, we headed to the fisherman's village. At night time, this area is completely shut off to vehicles and it becomes a nighttime walking street market. There was lots on offer and we then soon realised that it was kind of the posh end of Koh Samui because it was where all the resorts were. There was loads of resorts around us and this market was spack bang in the middle of it.
If only they had this much delicious food on offer back in the UK. Once we had a walk around, we had a game of darts to finish the night. The next morning, the girls Is tried some rust for the first time, and it definitely was a hit it's with them. After finding a local laundrette, we dropped the laundry off, set off to go and get some food, ready for our the first proper beach day. Once we all had a dip in the sea, we were so happy to see this lady selling some chicken bites. lady had all of her meat sauces and fruit on one side and a plank joining two sides together where the barbecue was on the other side she carries this up and down the beach and cooks in this extreme heat honestly i don't know how she does it I'm so happy that the beach was a hit with the girls and I can't wait to take them in the future when they can build sand castles with us. We had a brilliant day at the beach and it was very much needed. Sometimes traveling gets a bit too much so these chill days are really appreciated. Shout out to my FM tanning accelerator for making my feet so brown. After a chill day yesterday, we collected our laundry after we had some cereal and headed to Pig Island. pulled over at 7-Eleven to grab some nappies and grabbed a quick chicken stick before we headed to the boat. We had to get on the boat to get over to Pig Island. This island is actually really remote and nobody lives on it. Two people stay on it nightly and they take it in turns and swap just to obviously take care of the pigs that are on the island. We arrived with plenty of time to spare, so we just grabbed a quick drink, gave the girls a little swing on the hammock, and once the boat arrived, we Woo! headed to the island. We're in the hammock! Woo! Hello, Hello Mr. 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 Thank 
Everybody put you in the balcony. Be careful, sleep for you, yeah? Take care of you. I won't be surprised if next time we visit Koh Samui this island becomes very popular and will soon have accommodation for people to stay on. Honestly, it felt like paradise, especially when we were watching the sunset. Turn the face. Turn the face. We made some great friends with two girls that were from LA. They weren't on our boat tour, so shortly after we met them, they said they had to leave. We grabbed a bite to eat. This was included within our tour. It was a little buffet and the food was honestly epic. Daniel was in his element with all of the food. The girls then had some milk and a quick nap before the sunset began to set. It was so nice to shut off from the outside world and take the sunset in just as a family of four. Later that evening when we got back from the Pig Island, we headed to the night market. This was around a 20 minute journey from us and no, we did not try any insects. So after grabbing a quick cocktail, we then headed for some food. After a lovely Thai green curry, we headed off only to find another little pull-up van bar, playing some really good music and some funny entertainment. First McDonald's. What's in the bag? Uh, it's called a quarter pound up plus. It's a quarter pound a meal Let me see that. with six chicken nuggets. How big the drink is? Oh my God, it's quite heavy, Compared you know. Compared to my size nine foot. <laughs> wow. <laughs> we've had a couple of- Girls are of, asleep. Uh, we've had a couple of bevets. Cocktails. Still got a cocktail on the go. And, and we are now- 30 minute walk home. 30 minute walk home. Cheers to that. <laughs> We really enjoyed our time here on Koh Samui and we can't wait for you to come back to our next video for Koh Tao. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs>